With that, let me begin to introduce our esteemed speakers this morning. We are indeed deeply privileged to have with us Madame Lona Dipker, Member of the Danish Parliament, former Minister of Environment in Denmark, and co-chair of the International Support Committee of the University. It was Madame Dipker, as I just mentioned, who came to Bangladesh at the end of 2000 to first present the AUW idea to the community here. Since then, she has been a powerful advocate for the project in Europe and elsewhere. AUW could not have found a better friend than her. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure and honor to present Madame Lona Dipker. Thank you. Also, I would like on behalf of the International Support Committee to wish you a hearty welcome. We are so happy that you have all come here today uh, to the concluding ceremony of our inaugural symposium. In the last days, we have thanked a lot of people, with good reasons, because if these people would not have been here, would not have helped, we couldn't have been here in this occasion. But today, I just want to give my sincere thanks to the Bangladesh government, and by that, uh, to, uh, and through that, to the Bangladesh people, because they gave us the land uh, where we could build the university. And And I also want to bring my sincere thanks to the Parliament and especially Dr. Farouk for his work to having the Charter passed in the Parliament. Without this Charter, we have had no freedom and we couldn't have the University. I'm sure that all people in Bangladesh will benefit from this University. And more than that, it's not only the Bangladesh people who will benefit from this university, it's also the people, the rest of the people in the world. Why? There is such a, and this is exactly why there is such a strong support from the International Support Committee and from the people who are in the International Support Committee. This is why there are so many people, so many countries involved uh, behind the people in the Support Committee. Make poverty, poverty history is often said when we are discussing developing countries. And there are some countries who are making some of it into reality, and there are some big foundations who make this a reality. But the truth is, of course, the rich countries are not doing enough. There is made a lot of statements and declarations, but no action. Word on paper does not bring anything through. Action and hard work is what we need. Excuse me, it's the air condition. I'm not so used to that in Denmark. We are cold enough. <laughs> and uh, the result of this hard work, taking words from paper into reality, is what you see here today by the establishing of the university. We are realizing a dream by giving promising women from rural disadvantaged regions and refugee populations from all over Asia a higher education and leadership training, new possibilities that will be given new possibilities for the people in the poor regions. But we are realizing more than that. We realize a dream of bringing women from diverse cultural, religious, ethnic, and socioeconomic backgrounds and thereby establish a greater understanding of the differences in the world. By that, we create the seeds for more peace in the world. The university should be a beacon for all of us in, all, in, in the whole world, and there should be more than just one beacon. We need political leadership in the world, political leadership which involves the people. Who can better do that than these women who have, tr who have tried on their own body in their own countries what it is to be under privilege? So to all of you who support this great idea, I hope you will do it also in the future. 
and to you, the women in the access um, and the access faculty at, to the university. We trust you, and we have great expectation because we need help to create a better world for all people in the world. Thank you.